Hey, what's up guys? So this morning I was watching a video that was all about the deception in the medical industry from a great other YouTuber, YouTube and natural health practitioner by the name of Vaughn Lawrence and it's Spirit of Health. So he did a whole video all about that and went on to talk about uh, this other little allegory that's out there called the town of Allopath where just go check that out. That's great. You should you should check that out. Um, but anyways, more about all this deception that's out there in the medical community. Um, recently, I also made a video about the magic pill that talked about the ketogenic diet. And then, of course, there's debunking videos about the ketogenic diet debunked in five minutes, etc. And uh, it was mostly ridiculous information. I have great reason to doubt anything that was in that. And here's here's one thing that I'm going to point to right here, this article here. The New England Journal of Medicine editor, it is no longer possible to believe much of clinical research published. So yeah, Dr. Marsha Angel, Angel, whatever. I don't know how to say that, but... So they talk about, this is her quote right here. It is simply no longer possible to believe much of the clinical research that is published or to rely on the judgment of trusted physicians or authoritative medical guidelines. I take no pleasure in this conclusion, which I reached slowly and reluctantly over two decades as an editor of the New England Journal of Medicine. So the debunking video I saw that was all about the magic pill which was a documentary on Netflix. You could watch it right now. I highly suggest it. That was all about the ketogenic diet. It's just ridiculous because all they did was point to all these different medical journal studies, which, yeah, if I had more information about the origins of who paid for these studies, then maybe I could possibly put into account those things and see okay, these people have nothing to gain by this research, but the bottom line is all research today is motivated by funding. And if you don't find with whoever's putting up the money to do the research, then the stu this thing's not going to get published. So all of it is biased. All of it has its own agenda. And the bottom line is uh, this woman talked about it in the, in the, the magic pill. She said, you got to do your own research. And that's the thing, everything in our world today, you gotta do your own research, you gotta come to your own conclusions, and if you don't, and you just feel like believing everything you've been told, then you know that's good for you. But are you gonna be healthy? Probably not, there's tons of these other quotes out there of medical doctors who have become awakened and have said things like, the only way you're gonna stay healthy and live a long life in this world today is if you avoid pharmaceuticals, avoid a medical doctor, and find a natural health practitioner, find a medical practitioner, or find a, you know, natural way. And I largely made this YouTube channel because I wanted to educate people and help people help themselves. I don't, I don't want to be the one that they have to come to. Um, Anyways, guys, stay healthy. That's about all I wanted to say. Just this quote right here is the biggest thing that made me want to make this video because I heard it a long time ago and I had to find it again. And I wanted to make it easier for me to find this quote again. So that's one reason why this video is going up and this one reason why this video is so short. Stay healthy, guys.